Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed our first lecture on the UCM SmartLine modular precision cleaning system. Now follow the lecture presented by Mr. Andreas Netz on uh, custom specific UCM ultrasonic cleaning systems. Welcome to the first UCM virtual customer day and good afternoon. Therefore, the following information should give you an insight how we start a customized project and how we define and design a customized solution. Areas of application and components are mostly in the coating industry, in the precision optics, in medical technology and also in precision mechanics. At UCM, we basically talk about precision or fine cleaning or ultra-fine cleaning. The difference of this definition depends on the input conditions and how clean the parts are has to, are have to be. Input conditions are around 200 to 100 micron. Achievable values are approx less than 10 to 1 micron. Film residues from oil-free and degreased to atomic percent values for residual organics. In the past, the topic was often not as clean as possible, but as clean as necessary. Today, we rather ask about how exactly can and must be checked the parts. Purity according to the VDA-19 is limited. Less than five, 15 micron is not possible. More precise purity for particle and filmic uh, contaminations are already done with R REM or SEM, scanning electronic uh, microscope, and, R and RGA, residual gas analysis. Therefore, it's important to know what is really needed to define a customized solution. That is also the reason why we also definite uh, in the name of the type of cleaning. So we can say, typically, yeah, as higher the requirements are, the higher the, cleaner, the cleanings affords. Before we talk about the cleaning method, the most important criteria are to be clarified. This could be also the component specification about the geometry, the weight and the material or materials. Also rather important is component contamination and requirement cleanness. Organic, mineral, biological quantity, residues in microgram per centimeter, per square centimeters, sorry, and particle in microgram. Further important is the throughput how many parts per, per time or per basket is very interesting and necessary to know. The task after cleaning means if you want to inspect or coating or make an assembling in a clean room area. The systems, the processes and the, and the technologies are important which process and which technology is suitable for the application. You can imagine if you have very oiled and decreased parts, it's necessary and we recommend a pre-cleaning, for instance, with a solvent cleaning machine, as we will hear in the, in the next and following presentation. And uh, the reason is for that to eliminate all the oil and degrees out of the, the final cleaning system. In the EcoClean group, we have the great advantage to having all known cleaning processes in our portfolio. In addition to the bath cleaning system shown here, we also have solutions for single part cleaning, clocked or via a multi-axis robot cell. In addition, we also have high pressure cleaning systems, high pressure deburring systems, also as well as plasma, laser, steam, or airflow and vacuum systems. After the pre-cleaning, 
we try to define the final cleaning. And this is what we have heard and seen before our colleague, Mr. Um, uh, <laughs> our colleague has shown before in the, in the presentation with a standard machine, a water-based standard machine to have uh, intermediate or final cleaning. Or we go to a final cleaning system or a intermediate final cleaning system with a customized UCM individual machine. The customer specif specific cleaning systems are always fully automated. They can be from a small compact machine, means with 40 liter tanks. So at least the minimum process we can uh, realize with small tanks are cleaning, pre-rinsing, final rinsing and drying before coating, for instance. This could be also made by 1000 liter tanks in uh, depending of the process you need. And the individuality must then be defined accordingly. <coughs> so also here is very important uh, the decision which process and which technology is suitable for the application when we talk about the equipment inside the tanks. <coughs> We start at first with a basket or also with the product carriers and the use dimension we want to clean. As we can see here in the basket, we have the, the product window here inside we want to clean. We have to define the outside dimension of our basket depending on the baskets we want to clean. And also for, for the product you want to turn in the baskets, it's depending on the geometry and uh, to, to have the right uh, equipment inside the machine to clean during we have the rotation. For that, we have a calculation tool to define, to define um, the, the tank volume, the basket volume, to have uh, inside the, the ultrasonics equipment, we have the heating equipment and also um, to, to define uh, what kind of uh, solution we need inside the tank to have the best result during cleaning, uh, rinsing and drying. For that we give, we have uh, some dimension uh, about the tank volume with ultrasonic, without ultrasonic and also if we need ultrasonic only from the bottom or from the left and other, or from the, uh, from the right side. The calculation of the heating you need is depending on the tank volume and also the initial time from the end time to the heating time. So that means the power we need to heat up the tank during uh, one or two hours. If you calculate all this, we have the different kind of numbers for the loading position, uh, the number of cleaning tanks, the number of rinsing tanks, and also the number of drying tanks and unloading position. So we have here an information, the first information about the, the dimension of the whole machine, which is important to know if it is fixed in the, in the area we want to install it. Yeah. The next step is uh, a, coordin a coordination of optional equipment, which may be also an effect to the system dimensions. Basically, the UCM tanks have a four or two side overflow and also a different uh, kind of ultrasonic connections. This is very important because the, the four side overflow is for UCM a standard. A two side overflow is a possibility to get uh, the, the, the machine and the tanks more compact. Yeah. But, the but the function are also very, uh, very similar and very the same because the overflow rate for each tank during cleaning and rinsing must be as high as possible. Yeah. The, the, the pumps are also equipped uh, with, with uh, um, a frequency converter that we can reduce uh, the speed during ultrasonic, that we have no um, critical positions uh, during the filtration and uh, the function of ultrasonics. The filtration, the filtration itself the equipment's depending is uh, about the tank volume, 
the overflow rate, uh, the surface uh, bottom filtration, and also if we have a combination of both systems. It's depending on the kind of dirt which is uh, growing up on the surface or in the middle of the tank or on the bottom of the tank. What we also need is an integrated or an attached uh, rim suction in connection with an automatic lid. The reason for that is important because the consideration for hor horizontal transport is when a basket goes over the basket, so we need a little bit space inside the machine, so the height of the machine could be very critical. Another option or a po um, um, uh, possibility we can recommend is uh, during a, a spraying or a pressure flow rate or pressure fluting inside the tank. So it's possible to have both function in one tank. In the bottom side, we will, we will check uh, the equipment we need for pressure fluting. And on the upper side of the tank, on the second floor, floor we have uh, spraying systems to use different kind of water quality, for instance, and to get a better result after one rinsing position. A combined immersion spray rinsing for different water qualities, that's what I mean, what I talked before. And the spraying and pressure floating is possible to have, to have this in, in different tanks. So spray rinsing or spray cleaning, pressure flooding uh, cleaning or pressure floating rinsing, all these functions are possible in different kind of tanks. Chemical, chemical cabinet for automatic uh, detergent dosing is a question if you want to automate the automatic uh, flow for, for agents during the cleaning, that you are sure that you have all the same um, conditions during uh, one day or two days, and you have to refill with a flow meter uh, with fresh water and have uh, the dimension of uh, the chemical dosing uh, which you give uh, the values inside the system. Also important is to know the loading and unloading concepts. There are different kind of possibilities, maybe a wet loading or you have con conveyor belts uh, which uh, use one basket without any uh, motorized systems, a basket return or a connection to the clean room area. The UCM for philosophy is uh, mostly to, to eliminate the dirt inside the tanks as fast as possible. That's the reason why we have filtration in each tank. And to rinse the parts as effectively, effectively as possible using the dilution principle. So that means we will use a lot of water and uh, if we have too much water, we don't train it, we trade it with a separate system uh, to have all the time the same quality, which is very important to have uh, the best quality after, after trying. To get uh, spotless free results and the requirements uh, the, after the trying uh, at all the time. The next step is also very important, coordination of space availability. So we have to know if you want to install the system in an industrial area, in a gray room or inside into a clean room area. So for that, it's important to know the equipment, the outside uh, equipment itself, as a further necessity is a system, a layout to create in, ad in advance to determine whether the available space, area and height is sufficient. If this is guaranteed, we can also start the system uh, system configuration, uh, which we also can create it before if the space is enough for the machine. Here's one possibility, a takeover of an ex ex existing process with recommendation equipment or options or define of a new process. So for instance, here we have an example. You can see also the loading position the number of uh, cleaning tanks with the equipment in each tank, uh, for instance, heating, connection, a rin exhaust, a gravity oil separator, for instance, the bottom filtration, magnet filtration, a surface filtration, and also the ultrasonics from different sides, from the bottom, from left, and also from the, from, from the right side. 
What we also can show here is the power and the frequencies we want to install inside the machine to see uh, the, um, that that um, the the recommendation uh, works accordingly to, to 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 other examples we made before, and this is uh, the reason why we can give this information before we make some some tests in our lab. The other thing is uh, the the rinsing position. So here you can see what kind of quality we use a DI water, uh, maybe by room temperature. Uh, the next uh, free flow rating cascade from tank 5 to tank 3, uh, also from tank eight, uh, 9 to tank 8, or for instance from, from other tanks so that we have the flow rate in cascades. The other possibility is also what we talked before, the bottom filtration, magnet filtration or a surface filtration depending on the dirt which come into the machine. Other kind of cleaning, other, other kind of cleaning uh, products we used is uh, water-based uh, cleaning products, um, maybe by by um, heating connection uh, or, or rim exhaust, and the detergents are water-based. Maybe it's alkaline base, um, acid or nitrile uh, bases. Also, we have uh, the bottom filtration, the different kind of ultrasound power and ultrasound frequencies from the bottom or the left or the right side. Further things is uh, the, the final rinsing part where we have the, the DI water. At first we also talk about DI water, but this can also be uh, city water or osmosis water. Uh, in, the, in the final rinsing we have uh, mostly one, two or maximum three tanks, also in cascade, uh, also heated and uh, the same um, equipment as we talked before. We can use filtration, ultrasonic, and um, the, the flow rate of the cascade is very important that we use uh, some 100 or some thousand liter per hour to, to guarantee that uh, the, the change inside the tank is a maximum to be sure that we have a spotless free drying in the end with infrared or with hot air or with vacuum drying systems. At the end, we have uh, the, the unloading position, also with number of, of uh, buffer uh, positions, where we can say we go straight in line the, ta uh, the, the machine, or we can uh, also uh, install it 90 degrees to the machine with or without um, installation into the clean room area. This is one possibility where we can make a first price indication and to show this is, uh, this is our uh, recommended uh, solution and this is what we can uh, discuss with the customer afterwards. If there is space enough for the machine in the, air, in, the, in, in, in the area you want to install it, if the process and recommended options are okay, we can uh, make some, some general tries in, in, our, in our laboratories, in our technical laboratories, take over existing chemistry. This is also uh, important to discuss with the customer or with optimization about the chemicals when we, when we talk with uh, suppliers, what they can recommend uh, depending on uh, the, the requests and the, the efforts. Rinsing and drying options, this is also what we can show and, and, and see what kind of drying systems are usable and uh, effective actively. So what we can show in our lab is mainly the execution of principal trials to identify trends. Yeah, this is important because uh, in the most cases we, we uh, have never uh, always uh, the perfect and exactly machine we need. So what we need, what kind of equipment we want to install, this is our experience and we want to see some trends um, um, uh, about the, the quality of, of cleaning and rinsing and drying. And then we can define, as we showed before, in our system configuration, what kind of options we have to add. The next step is that we also talk about the definition of baskets or the product carriers. So uh, in, in a lot of cases, we can see that customers wanted uh, to use their own baskets, their own carriers. Though, so this is uh, what we talked before, that we knew that we have to knew at, at, at first step 
the, the, the goods windows and what kind of carrier we want to need to clean and uh, have the optimized position after for, for the cleaning, rinsing and drying steps. Yeah. You can see here different uh, possibilities to clean uh, some lenses or wafers. We have different kind of possibilities to clean uh, the tools in three levels. Yeah, this is very important to see because it's not very easy to clean and rinse. A possibility that we also have uh, um, uh, an, an air knife because, because, uh, before we go into a, um, a hot air dryer. That means we blow the, the, the water on the surface away uh, so that we have a spotless free drying with uh, warm air. Another possibility is for instance for automa automatic uh, uh, parts from the car industry or the supplier from the car industry to have exact positions. This is also important uh, that the, the, the parts are not possible to, to have a connection each other or uh, the same with uh, the lenses we have here. This could be also a cleaning for before inspection, before coating or before um, assembling in, in clean room area. Uh, this is a very special uh, possibility to clean uh, micro optics, micro optics in a special carrier which are recommended uh, from the customer and the customer wanted uh, to clean um, his micro optics uh, in the same carrier for cleaning and also for the coating that it is not possible or not necessary to change the optics from one, from one, uh, from one customer carrier to the next carrier. This is very important for the customer itself uh, that he not, doesn't uh, need too much time. So UCM can provide recommendations and support in the implementation uh, to optimize the cleaning, rinsing and drying of the parts. Um, the goods carrier transport frame is also very important. This gives us uh, the outside dimension and uh, at least uh, the, the minimum dimension of the tank. This is the basket and the frame and everything we want to clean is very essential uh, part of, uh, the, uh, to it, um, of achieving uh, the results. Some examples, uh, for instance, in the optical industry, here we can see that we have uh, the final cleaning before vacuum coating in the clean room, depending on materials, throughput and requirements. That, 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 knows, uh, that, uh, that shows you that we have, uh, or it could be possible that you have different kind of materials. That's the reason why we use uh, one, two or three different kind of cleaning products. And uh, depending on the throughput, it means that we, that we uh, have to define the rinsing part and the final rinsing part and also the number of positions. That um, is also for, for the drying systems. Also, depending on the throughput, how many positions we, we absolutely need to, to be sure that the throughput is possible. The integration of the system operation, operation side in the clean room or on the, the other side, the maintenance side in the service room. This is also possible to install the machine in a special uh, area that uh, you, uh, you don't have to, to install the machine itself uh, into a clean room area. Another example is automotive industry. So here we talk about, for instance, for final cleaning before wear protection coating, depending also here on material throughput and requirements. Sometimes it's, um, uh, it's possible that we have to demagnetize uh, the parts before we have to clean, to rinse and dry it. And uh, during rinsing, this is also possible if you have materials like 100 uh, chrome 6 that we need a protection during the rinsing part. And this is uh, very um, uh, necessary to have a spotless free and a perfect drying without corrosion. The rest is also possible as before. Uh, for instance, a basket return or also with a fully, fully automatic parts loading in the goods carrier, as well as removal uh, from the goods carrier, maybe for instance, uh, with a pick and play system or a magnetic handling. 
A further example is uh, from the high-tech or high-purity industry. So you can see that we have a different kind of, of area equipment. Uh, maybe we install the, uh, the machine directly into the clean room, clean room as, uh, area ISO 5 or ISO 6. And the final cleaning before assembly in the clean room is also here depending every time about the materials, the throughput and the requirements. The main process uh, what we installed in the past um, is uh, three times for cleaning. That means alkaline, acid or, or, or neutral three times rinsing and three times uh, rinsing of, uh, in with uh, final DI water and two times vacuum drying to have uh, the, the optimization in the throughput. In the, main, in the main examples, we have also an in-feed uh, into the clean room. Uh, in the, also in the, maze, in the most um, um, examples, we, we, have to, we have to install the clean room area ISO 5 conditions in the machine area or in a part of a machine, uh, maybe for, for the last rinsing and drying and um, the, the position we have to give over to the clean room area. Yeah. The automatic base basket return is also a possibility to install. A further uh, example is the tooling industry. Uh, maybe it could be in this case a pre and final cleaning before wear protection coating in the clean room, depending also here, it's again and again the same on uh, materials, throughput and requirements. This uh, shows us um, the, the, uh, the numbers of cleaning tank, rinsing tank, also the final rinsing and drying uh, system. Started, started uh, before we, we go into the hot air, hot air drying with a blow up system to eliminate all the water drops of the parts. A fully automatic loading of the buffered goods carrier into the transport rack uh, by a multi-axis robot is also possible uh, depending on the number of parts we have to clean or to have to put in the basket or eliminate out of the basket. And um, the unloading buffer um, is, is also uh, automated uh, and bring the, ba the baskets um, back to the, to the loading part. A last um, uh, possibility in med medical technology is uh, could be maybe a, a linking uh, with a solvent machine, as we heard uh, from uh, or will be heard from from our colleague in in the next presentation, based on pre-cleaning and water-based intermediate cleaning after mechanical processing or non-sterile packaging. This is a possibility which we discussed with a customer which want to, to uh, reinstall all the new uh, the old equipment to a new equipment. And um, the second uh, part was uh, a capacity expansion with a second water-based uh, intermediate cleaning uh, uh, position or machine um, to have uh, more capacity in the, in the factory. At least uh, we come back to the, the criteria mentioned in the beginning with uh, serve as basis and defining a possibility solution in very close condition with a customer. This is very important to discuss with the customer what is existing or what is new um, uh, recommended. And however, the know-how, the experience, uh, our experience from a large variety of realized individual solution is, is very, very interesting and very, very necessary to find and design um, uh, the the um, the solution for 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 you, for our customers, and um, is uh, this is also reliability, a certainty of feasibility, as well as the positive feedback from our customers. So at the end, I can say thank you very much for your attention, and I would be very pleased uh, to answer your question. <laughs>